Good morning. Today is September 14, 2022, and I'm going to show you this chess game that is very interesting. Sometimes chess game would have something that is so outrageous that something that's really tactical that you cannot basically look at patterns over here and that you just have to calculate. This is one of such game. The problem is that I was able to take advantage of the calculation in the beginning but then I make a mistake and totally give away all my advantages and then it becomes a tactical drag. So with that in mind, let's begin. I have four puzzles for you. The first one is this one. Black has just moved the knight to c6. What is the best move? Second puzzle. Black has just moved the knight to f6. What is the best move? This is the third puzzle. Black has just moved the king to f8. What is the best move? Last puzzle, number four. Black has just moved the queen to a5. What is the best move? Let's begin with the game. First move. This is like Karokan opening. In this particular one, it's called other variation. Notice that the pawn is hanging, so And that's an interesting move over there. You really need to calculate over here. This is kind of like an, an opening trap position point variety. Things of, things of that nature. And that is the best. And this is the first puzzle. Specifically, the knight move back into here, to the square. And that's a waste of time, waste of tempo. Another thing that you need to understand is that if you can see over here the evaluation, that's good for me. So the way to do it would be to for the bishop for the bishop over here to move over here and block that, and that the net should just stay there. So this is answer to the first puzzle. That takes knight. Pawn takes knight, bishop checks, fox the rook over there. So, so I got a piece up, and sure enough, white get big advantages right on the beginning of the game. So, so far that's a tactical shot, uh, opening trap, so as to speak, you know, so to speak. So. That's one way to do it. So let's move on. And this is the second puzzle, puzzle number two. And black has just moved the knight to f6. And as you can see from the evaluation here, that's plus eight. That's a whole piece up. What should I do? Just take it over there. And this is a mistake. What I should have done is I should have just took it with the knight. And that would be a good thing to do. Then I take it with the knight would be a good thing. If a bishop goes there, which is what black does, but knight can go here and check that. So, so yeah, that, that, that one is a mistake. That, that.
Anyway, next move. And black just picks up a free pawn. And that's, as you can see from the score over there, that's a big mistake on my part. What I should have done is, basically I should have done this to check and then king move there, not castling. And then knight goes there, blocking, you know, splitting over here. So basically, I can uh, take that. And if the rook goes here, for, for some reason, I can just take that bishop over there with the queen and then the king will have to go over there and generally speaking since the not over here the queen can go here and the king will get stuck go back here go back here go back here and queen takes bishop and so I would win you know I would win a lot with this one, with that kind of variation. Anyway, so, next move. And that's a mistake. Huh, what can I say? Take the rook. This is where tactical consideration trumps everything. Somebody said, trusted she has enough, basically who at one time teach me chess for uh, actually I only learned it from my lesson but anyway uh, he's very good international master and he said don't lose pieces <laughs> I'm still trying to you know <laughs> I'm still trying to practice that lesson you know learn the lesson but but he said chess is 99% tactics and it is true in uh, environment where the time has no limit basically international tournament that thing two hours for 40 moves that's true but here in a 10 minute move I find that the ability to recognize pattern is very important because it saves you a lot of times so practice makes perfect be familiar with the situation and try to recognize pattern so you don't have to think a lot here there is no pattern. You have to think a lot. And right now I have two rooks and a knight versus a queen and a bishop. So position is about equal, really. Uh, so I have huge advantage and I lost it. Check. And that's it. And right there. Uh, you have, uh, you know, you can see that not takes piece of like, oh, it's free piece of right, so just take it over there. And this is parcel number four over here. What should I do? Uh, you look at the position here, net d5, that's safe tonight. But that's not what I should have done. What I should have done is I should have the rook over here over there followed by the rook over there so that's basically made in three once yeah once i move the rook over there you cannot black cannot save this one move over there yeah maybe like queen takes knight and then king and then uh, and then put and mid, uh, basically queen probably blocks here and then just rook just takes queen and mid. So that's mid entry. <coughs> and I missed it. You know, mid entry. I missed it. Like, uh, really. <laughs> really. Uh, what can I say? But that's the answer to the puzzle. Uh, and this is again an inaccuracy over here. Over there, just like that. What can you do? And there's nothing to stop that. 
from a thing like that. And just like that. Yep. That one's actually made in six, right? And so it's still made that not as good. So what follows is like and see the net is hanging. So yeah, what follows is a lot of typical grinder that that is no pattern. Basically just have to do it. Yes. Tactics, tactics, tactics. There's no pattern at all whatsoever there. Over there you can see triple pawns and over here you can see a pass pawn. So that's something to look for and that's some kind of patterning in there that you know I can take advantage of it. Unfortunately by this time I was running low on time. So I mean it's a 10 minute game so I was just <laughs> basically trying to do as many checks as possible and try to get this the king the king line up over there so I can skewer the queen or something. So that's what I was doing. So and yeah that's that's a little tactical trap because the queen, you know, can, if the queen takes the pawn, the rook goes here and skew a bit. So, just keep doing it, keep doing it. Just check, 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 trap. Ah, there you go. And that's a mistake right there, see. Interestingly, this is actually a much easier position than before, before the king over here. So that was kind of blocking that one. So this one, there's no block, there's no king. So the queen takes it. And I take the queen and I win. And basically this is because the time was just getting down to the seconds so really it's just instinct it's just reflex and one thing you want to notice is that a queen one queen is not necessarily superior to two rooks because the rooks can coordinate and block squares so just keep that in mind and it it may be a good idea to for you to practice this uh, position, this kind of tactical position. So when you get to this kind of situation where you have two rooks versus one queen, you may not win, but you not lose either. But you don't lose either. So uh, there you go. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.